What's up peeps, this is Matt and in today's video we're going to be doing a guide on Europa which is a map made by Logical Edits which just came out in the workshop. It's insane, it's very very good, you guys should definitely check it out. And yeah, this guide will cover almost everything that's not glitchy right now. Anyway, let's get right on with the guide. So first off, in order to activate power, you need to hit the power relay station. You're gonna need to press X on this little console right here, then wait a few seconds. When the initialization is over, you can press X again on the machine, and then the area will be sealed, there's gonna be infinite zombies spawning in, they're not gonna be so much hard to kill, they're not gonna be runners and stuff, if you manage to get here by round 4 or 5, then when the process is over, you just need to press square on the console again, and the power will be on. Now, in order to unlock pack a punch, you just need to head up to the console again, press F again, and then just wait a minute, and once you hear that the water has been lowered, you can now head to the console, press F again, and the little doors in the middle are gonna open, and then you unlock Pack-a-Punch. Now, once power is on, you're going to search for fuses in order to activate the jump pad. So here's the first location, right next to the bolt up. The second one's gonna be inside the spawn room on this little table right here. And the last one is in the bio lab, about right here. Once you find all these, it's time to put them in their sockets. So the first one's on the connection post on the left side of the map the next one is on the connection post on the right side of the map this time and finally the last one is inside the spawn area and right next to the jump pad whenever that's over head back to the power relay station press F on this machine and the jump pads will not be active now we're gonna talk about the buildables and we're gonna go over the shield first so whenever you're in this area of the map just head where I am and grab the first shield part. The next shield part is located on the other side of the map about right here and in order to grab the last piece you're gonna need jump pad active and then you can just go right here and grab it. Once you found all these, head back to their spawn room to craft it. So on this map, you can actually craft a scavenger and you need to find three parts in order to do so. The first one is when you open up pack a punch. The next one is a key, it needs to be grabbed mid-air while launching off a jump pad. And then once you did it, you can head back to this part of the map and open up the safe which was locked with the key and then you're gonna be able to grab the next part. All right, for the last one, you're supposed to get it after you kill your first astronaut, which is at round 10 to 15, but in my gameplay, my astronaut did spawn, so I got it in the spawn area at round 16. Now you can head back to the power relay station to craft the scavenger and you can also upgrade it. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at all the side EEs there is in the map, including a music one. So the first one is really easy, it's in order to get the golden defense you just need to get 30 kills with the cliffhanger before round 5 as shown in the gameplay and then you can head to this location and life this box and there you go you have the golden cliffhanger which is pretty much a one shot until round infinity okay so the perk limit on this map is 5 perks so I will recommend you guys getting 5 perks before doing these easter eggs in order to get 3 perks and this easter egg is basically just activating those console which are red and turning on green I'm showing you guys locations right now on the screen and then once that that's done you're gonna get your free perk same with this one you just need to go around the map melee these little things and there's three of them once you melee all of them you're gonna get another free perk so at round 10 you're gonna start hearing phones ringing and then you just find these phones press f on them and then you're gonna get another free perk so three free perk easter eggs in the same map is really insane guys you guys should definitely do them okay so now after activating power you can do the song easter egg you just need to find these three little teddy bears and press f on them i'm showing you guys the location right now and if you're a streamer or a youtuber and you don't want a copyright claim don't do it because this song is copyrighted it's really good so if you guys are playing vanilla without streaming anything you guys should definitely do it to get on with the actual easter egg guide now once you build the scavenger and you upgraded it you're just gonna need to train some zombies and kill them with the scavenger until the key card drops once you have it you're gonna need to upgrade the security level of your key cards so head to the following locations and press f on the little terminals you see it has to be done in the exact order i'm showing it's gonna take a little while so just get a last zombie and do them all in the same round once you have level 4 security clearance head to this little terminal activate it and start searching for the tvs around the map uh, note down the numbers on them once you find the three tvs i'm showing you guys the locations right now head back to the terminal and i think you need to put the numbers in ascending order inside 
these little TVs so just press F on them until it works or whatever you guys can try all the combination once you did this you're gonna unlock the elemental scavengers and then you we can move on to the next step all right so now I'll take the fire variant of the scavenger and blow up that door inside the power list station and then switch out to your electric version of the scavenger to power up this little teleporter right here all right so now for the next part I'm really not sure about this one. You need to find a dynamite around the map and I think there's four or five locations for it and it's always located on some railing so just make sure to go through all the areas which has railing make sure to look twice for the dynamite it's pretty easy to find but I don't know all the locations so far so once you found it TP to this teleporter and then go place the dynamite on the back of this wall and head back to the console and blow up the store after spawning back inside the map take down the blackbird get the little part it drops and then place it where exactly I'm showing you guys right now. Once you did it, turn the valves until their current spawning satellites uh, is facing towards the sun and then you're gonna see a light beam coming out of each of these satellites and then you know the step is over. So now the easter egg is technically complete. You can enter the boss fight through the teleporter user here and be prepared. This boss fight isn't so hard but isn't easy at the same time. My recommendations to you guys are Go grab the shield inside the spa room and then head to this bus fight because you don't need uh, the PES in order to do it. And the only thing to take the avocado down is just shoot at him. Keep on shooting at him, survive, turn the zombies, um, use your weapons. I would recommend buying the HK21. And don't forget to grab one of the elemental scavenger there is. Uh, it's really useful whenever uh, you get stuck by the zombies. And yeah, just keep on shooting at the Avogadro until he's taken down. I won't be showing you guys the whole fight and the ending because I don't want to spoil too much. You guys check it out in other videos out there on YouTube. I'm sure there's plenty right now. And if you guys enjoyed this video, just make sure to leave a like. It will really help me out. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content on custom maps like that. And thank you guys so much for watching this. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next guide.